Supposed to be meeting Tony, but he's just sent me this. Found a mobile phone. First of all, I had a puncture, so I this is my gravel setup for the day. Oh yeah. As you can see. Slicks, yeah. Slicks, so it's gonna be fast. And then I found a mobile phone and I was gonna ride past it like an absolute twat, but then my conscience, like the little devils on the on my shoulders were going, hand it in, Tony, hand it in. So I've been to the police station this morning. So that's a good man. I know. Yeah. So, now I, I really feel like I've booked me place in heaven and it's ridiculously warm. <laughs> Do you enjoy that on your slicks? Yeah, uh, I've got arm pump. You know what Lawrence was on about? He's the same speed on a mountain bike as you are on that. <laughs> it was fr well, well, actually, it wasn't that bad. It didn't feel that bad. No, you were going going fast. That car was a bit iffy though, wasn't it? Oh, fuck. It's a nice little morning spin with Tony. What we did, two hours? Yeah, three hours. Two hours. Let's go ride this direction uh, into the headwind, which means we'll be able to get back nice and quickly. My legs feeling a bit funny after my little mountain bike training camp. Uh, Nice to be on a bike that's a little bit faster. I'm jealous of the slicks though. I reckon those tires are actually the fastest choice for this. Yeah, I'm literally like putting zero effort in here. It's like well, maybe that's because you're riding with me. It's definitely the tires, Francis. Aren't you on, uh, aren't you on peak form though? Because it's mid cross season. Uh, that's how it works. How's that all been going? It's going relatively quite well. Uh, I've won every northeast round I've raced. <laughs> which, uh, quite well. Can't yeah. ask for any more than that. Then nationally, sort of just keep missing out on the podium, which is a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. The standard's just that high this year. It's just difficult to compete with them. But I am going to the World Masters Championships, 4th of December. Okay. World Masters Championships. So I think it was like the top 10 got auto selected for us. I'm getting a ride. Sweet. It got, you don't get a GB jersey because that's I would have, would have been quite nice, but if you don't, you just get the pay for the privilege <laughs> <laughs> to ride a world. Like, get in, 50, 50 quid down. Didn't realise you brought a support crew. Uh, they're getting, they're going to get a letter from the uh, solicitors. Are they? Copyright infringement there, isn't there, somewhere? Global company, supplier of bricks. You do all the stuff Shimano and Garmin do is like boat motors and things, right? We don't do boat motors, but we do do Scott jeans. Do you? Yeah. Very European. Like almost a boot flare. They come back round though. Yeah, I see. I'd love, I'd love a pair of cowboy boots, man. The one pair of shoes I don't own. Yeah, you could wear them with your bib shorts. I'd look amazing in Stanley Asler in a pair of cowboy boots. Is it going down this way? Yes, I can hear her barking. Maggie, don't chase the sheep again. Maggie! Maggie! Maggie, come and get some ham! I can't believe it when she stopped chasing him again! Get me Superman's cape out. She'll be in the fucking shit if the farmer catches her. Because they've, they've been breeding. And they basically just like have miscarriages, I think, if they get stressed. Oh. And Neil were probably fucking stressed. <laughs> Almost as stressed as she was. Fly me, bless her. Middle of cyclocross season. Good time for a bit of cross country running. Tony saved the dog. All in a day's work. I did my uh, I did my part. I calmed her down. Yeah. You know. You, you had did, a nice chat. Did. Yeah. Did you get her number? Can't tell the vlog that. <laughs> Scott man. Literally the things you make me do. Best best superhero in the northeast. Well, I've heard the only. The only superhero in the yeah, North East, yeah, yeah. yeah. If there's a superhero around, there's always a super villain. And you've got that stubble that looks like a bit of a villain. What would my power be? Putting dogs into fields full of yeah. sheep. What are they for? Them? Yeah, why do you have a set of wheels with those on? For training on the rollers. I use them to warm up one at the cross races. Once it gets to cross season, I like to try and spend a bit of time on the cross bike to get used to riding in the position and 
put no power in that position. Interesting. Hey, we should do more videos on cyclocross. We should. Because you're an expert. <sighs> this is what I struggle with. Am I an expert? I've just been doing it a long time. Does that make us an expert? I think that does make you an expert, doesn't it? Well, there's a difference between being good at something and then being good at talking about it. But I think yeah. we could channel the information yeah. from your brain, take it out and put it in a video. Talking people like, like basics and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like how to do that thing where you run on the bike and get on it. Yeah, like yeah. this. Nice one, mate. Yep, thank you. Take care. Link down below, Tony's channel. You're about to hit a milestone, aren't you? Trying to monetize, which, is, which is a big thing for me. I didn't pro, ever... Pro YouTuber, how yeah. much more do you need? Uh, another 900 hours, Sam. Like three quarters of the way there, yeah. which is something I didn't expect to happen. Basically, everyone go and watch Tony's videos, leave them on repeat, yeah. and it'll get his channel to the point where he can uh, monetize it and then become pro YouTuber, and then we'll just ride bikes all day. We'll keep all the work a secret. <laughs> there is actually work. Three and a half hours on the bike. Good to catch up with Tony. Back just before it pissed it down. I have something cool to show you. Not bike related, but cool. It's a massive light. That's on 50% and that is on 1%. This is an Amaranth 100D, which I think would be classed as a professional light for filmmaking, but it's like the lowest end one you can get. This was about 200 pounds. The brand that owns it, Aperture, if you want a light this size, and it's all made of metal and nice, it's a thousand pounds. But it has the same mount on the front, which lets you do this. You can fit one of these giant umbrella things to the, to the front of it, kind of stuck on now. So bear in mind, I've just plugged this in and stuck it next to me and put it on 50%. So I actually need to tinker with it and figure out the best way, best place to put it in here. But as you guys know, this garage sort of revamp uh, into a nice filming space and bike workshop has been going on for a few weeks. I've got the tube lights set up above me, which are fantastic. They're right over the workbenches so you can see exactly what you're doing, but I didn't have any lights for me. I wanted a bit of an upgrade to make things nicer and clearer. When you're making videos, lighting them is one of the most important things to make your shot look professional. You can make even the most affordable cameras. This one I'm shooting on is a fairly entry level EOS R, which is like the basic Canon model for mirrorless. And if you employ the right lighting, you can get some really good results. This thing is an Octabox, which is an umbrella looking thing with eight sides with this big diffuser thing on the front, which makes the light a lot softer. So basically when it hits my face, it should be very pleasing to the eye. It's not my actual face. This thing is pretty hefty. You can see the depth of that, but hopefully I can get it, squeeze it behind the desk there and uh, be able to light my shots and talk about stuff. For anyone wondering, this is a Bowens Octabox, 90 centimeters, and it costs about 80 pounds. So for less than 300 quid, professional light like that, not too shabby. So the next part of this video, I wanted to do another giveaway. Seeing as the last one went so well, this time, Smaller prize, but more of them. Together with Pro Standard, we're giving away eight of these grill mounts. The infamous memed mouth mount for the GoPro. I know it's ridiculous. It is the best way to film if you're riding a bike, because you usually need two hands when you're riding a bike, and your head is the most stable part of your body. So that's why this is my most used GoPro mount, and we're gonna give away eight of them. All you have to do is comment down below why you think you should win one. You have to follow the Pro Standard Instagram page, and you have to follow my Instagram page, and we will choose eight winners at random. Good luck, everyone, and get entering. Oh, look at the, uh, the lighting setup. This light is so bright, I've had to reflect it off the wall to be usable. I can't put an umbrella thing in the kitchen, though. Days would be well crossed. Come there and gifts. Secret Atticus kit, that's not so secret because... Is it released yet? If you're signed up to the mailing list, you'll know when the release date is. You feeling better? I'm still ill, but I feel well enough to be like up and about. But like my chest literally feels like someone's just sat on it all of the time. What are you doing? Just putting my contacts in. Oh.